Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Bateman's the pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. And he got all of this one. Great kick. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's tackled right around the 34. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. And here's a quick throw. Pass ball is incomplete. Green was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 34-yard line. It's third down. And they make the stop at the 31. They just kind of spun their wheels here. But credit to defense with not giving up any ground. Crawford is the punter. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Notre Dame staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Tackled after a decent pickup. Just throws this one away. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Douglas is the deep man awaiting the return. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. Runs it right. Nice pickup. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it, and that's hard to stop. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. He's tackled immediately after the catch. That makes it third and eleven. It's third and eleven. Ball on the 35-yard line. Fires it quickly. He was able to just tip that one away right out of the receiver's reach. The intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Yard 
This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He's at midfield, and down he goes at the 47-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. Armstrong gets three yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Caught and a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. That's a game of four on the play. Here's an opening. He's at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. They shredded the defense with the option run there. That's a big game to keep this drive going. Run play, and he'll lose yards. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Now he's scrambling. to the right. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 64-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 7-0. Notre Dame is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Notre Dame's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant the first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ballgame. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Got it and brought down immediately. Second and five. They'll run it. And they hit him in the backfield. And that run got stuffed. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 26-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he goes down quickly. Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. Crawford to punt. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Gets to around the 42. Notre Dame is up seven. They'll drop in for a loss. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. They'll spread the field with five wide. Ball 
Fires it out. Got an opening. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Number 25, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. Second and 10. Ball on the 41. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Notre Dame can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still fourth down. It has the distance. And it hits the upright and bounces through. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Notre Dame's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Nice run there. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Tackle made right around the 40. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Going deep. And this one's going to get intercepted. That's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game and to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. First and 10, ball on the 18-yard line. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And they push him out at about the 23-yard line. good for a game of five yards. That brings up second and five. Brought down at the 32. Gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Number 86, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 32. Knocked out of bounds at the 39. Call it a gain of seven yards. Third down. Mike 55, Mike 55. E, 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 E. Watch the run. He gets hit out of bounds around the 39-yard line. That brings up fourth and three. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Oh, excellent punt. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition 
They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, I think the defense should go down the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. He's to the 40. Makes it to the 47. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Runs right for a nice game. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and inches. And this may be fourth down territory if they can't get a first down here. Up the middle for a nice game. Taken down at the 29. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Good open field tackle. From the 26 yard line. First down. throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Yeah, let's go, Let's go. Go, 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 go. Nice run, and he's brought down. the 18 yard line it's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it he gets out to about the eight very well designed play that time to give him a first down the linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game He makes it to the six-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, the Fighting Irish lead 10-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He's tackled around the three-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. Touchdown, Minnesota! There are some guys when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Yeah. Notre Dame has a three-point lead. Hey, if you kill it, motion me out. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That'll be a loss of one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. And he 
tackles him hard at the 33. That's a gain of nine on the play. Hey, we gotta get the stop here, Dean. Third down. Strike to his receiver, no good. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Douglas is back awaiting the punt. <laughs> Douglas fields it at the 26. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. They try the right side. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's immediately tackled. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Throwing right. Tipped away. This is a well-prepared defense. They know where to be, and they know what their opponent likes to do. And they play tight coverage as well. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. On the ground with the tailback. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it third and five. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog. Motion. Quick throw to the tight end. He's at the 30, and down he goes at about the 25-yard line. Under pressure, they bring the quarterback down. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's tackled around the 24-yard line. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Number seven, the intended receiver on the play. They're going to try a long field goal here. Minnesota can tie it up here with this kick. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. And a 10-10 tie in this game. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the one. Brought down at the 26. Kickoff returns 25 yards. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Tackled after decent pickup. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. They make the stop at the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. They'll bring him down at the 46. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. First down. Big opening. He's taken down at about the 35. Gain of 11 yards. First down. Watch number 12. Watch number 12. Hey, check right. Check right. Watch number 12. Watch the 
Nice run up the middle. Makes the tackle. Gain of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. And now he's got room to run. Makes it to the 14. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14. his man and they take him down immediately. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a gain of seven on the play. That makes it first and goal. It's on the ground. Recovered by the offense. Get off him. Get off him. Oh, we got it. They're at the five. It's second down. Great tackle at the two-yard line. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Minnesota's offense has struggled here in the second quarter. Kirk, what do they need to do to get uh, going on this next drive? Well, Brad, I think they need to reestablish the rhythm that they had early in this game. Just kind of go back to the basics of what that game plan was. Running the football, a, a passing game that you have confidence in. Just try to become a little bit more balanced. And, and then I think you'll find that rhythm and make it easier to drive the ball and put points on the board. Gets out to about the 32-yard line. That makes it third and three. He has some room. Room around the corner. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Tries to get around the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That makes it second and six. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Here we go. And they'll run him again. They go to the left for a nice game. Run here, right side. The tackle. Gain of four on the play. That brings up second and five. From the 40-yard line. Second down. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. This is the eighth play of this drive. Pick up a four on the play. The defense wasn't fooled too much by the play action, but it gave the quarterback just enough of a cushion to find his receiver. 
They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks up. And it's good. He barely snuck that over the crossbar by chalking up another three points. Yep, he literally didn't have more than a foot to spare. But this offense will take points any way they can get them. Minnesota gets set to kick this one away. Gathered in at the six. He's tackled at the 31. Notre Dame's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Passes into tight coverage, and it's going the other way. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. Notre Dame holds a four-point lead. Short over the middle. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. And some daylight. Gets out to around the 45. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He makes his way to about the 28. Gain of 17 yards. First down. He's on the run, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Five yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. He's out of bounds at the 22-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. So it's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. The kick is up and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Steps out of bounds around the 25-yard line. That brings up third and ten. Tight end right. Tight end right. Two down, two down. He heaves it deep. Nice catch on that one. Touchdown, Minnesota.
tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he hits the PAT. So a short three-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys kind of be coming over to the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Slings it, and he's taken down at the 38. Under pressure, they bring him down. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Looking for his man, incomplete. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. Get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. Throws it deep. And it's caught. Touchdown! Tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 62-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Golden Gophers have roared back in this thing, and they're within striking distance right now, partner. Yeah, they've done a good job of just kind of sticking to their game plan after that slow start. Now they find themselves right back in this football game before we get to half. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. throws this one away. So they run the same pass play again. Yeah, typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player. They feel confident about a play's chances. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. And he tackles him hard at the 14. Notre Dame's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Crawford awaits the snap. He's taken down at the 43. 
exactly. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Catches it, and that's all. That brings up second and five. Wants to go long and does. Oh, and he can't hold on. So we played two quarters. Notre Dame leads it 27-20. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Do you know what happens after a first half like that? No, what ha happens? What happens is offensive coordinators, they're not coordinators anymore. They're gurus. Ah, they're wizards. Okay. They're attractive They're candidates. writing a book. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they're writing a new book saying this is how you move the ball. Uh, I, I tell you what, when you put on a clinic like that, I guess you can. And you can start thinking like that. Maybe you start thinking about getting a head coaching job as well. But everything that you wanted to do on offense was executed flawlessly. There's got to be some kind of there's got to be some way to stop themselves in the second half because right now it didn't look like anybody could stop these offenses. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. It's fielded at the two. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Notre Dame is up a score. Make the stop at the 21 yard line. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 21. And he's going to be sacked. I think the quarterback here, even though he came up with a sack and he's on his back, he's also guilty here of not getting a better pre snap read. You know, a lot of quarterbacks would get caught up in their size and their arm strength and how they throw the football. But the really good quarterbacks bring the intangibles to the table. And that means recognizing a blitz and affecting the offensive line and making the right call to adjust the protection. That time, he didn't do that. Throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Number 13, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Douglas, back to return it. Oh, excellent punt. They'll bring him down at the 47. Return for a game of 12 yards. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's at the 30, and he's tackled at the 24. And down he goes, right around the 14-yard line. to the left and he's tackled after positive yardage here's a handoff left side he's tackled around the 10 yard line but you can really mess with an offensive game plan if you can take away their ability to run Third down, six to go. Ball on the 10-yard line. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in a defense, anticipating pass here. 
Throws complete, and he's hit right away. It's up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Minnesota's got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Notre Dame is up by four. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at about the 37-yard line. First down. Complete. He's got room. And they push him out around the 43-yard line. Game of 20 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike 55. Mike 55. E, 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 E. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. And he's level at the 45. First and ten. Ball on the 45. I know he ain't got it. Hey. 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 Here's the halfback, and he's brought down hard behind the line. That was a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and twelve. Almost had it, but it's incomplete. Pratty drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. He's got it with room to run. That's a great tackle at the 40-yard line. He's taken off. Brought down at about the 21. Inside the 10. There's a strike complete. What a play, and that is first and goal. Pitch out, got the corner. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a six-play, 55-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. For Minnesota, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to them on several occasions. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. They also gotten them to turn it over twice. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. Well, they are running it pretty well, so that wouldn't be a bad thing. You take the yards however you can get them. All the good plays from this defense has helped them into the lead. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. 
and it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Number 55 with the tackle up at the 31 yard line. That'll make it second and four. Tackle after a decent run up the gun. Call a gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. He fights forward to about the 39. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. He's taken down around the 41 yard line. Gain of two on the Made around the 49-yard line. Gains 10 First down. Go down, go down. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Switch, switch, switch. And he can't get away from the pressure. Makes the sack. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. From midfield, it's second down. Watch the run, watch the run. Mark 55, Mark 55. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Check, check out. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Quick pass. About three yards that time on the screen. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. Right now he wants to get this kick away and change field position. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That's a loss of three yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 21. Minnesota holds a field goal lead. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. For a sack on the play. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Watch the pass. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 35. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires out to his receiver, and he shoved out of bounds at the 41-yard line. About six yards on that completion. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Caught out in the open, and he's taken down at the 45-yard line. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Tackle at the 36 yard line. Game of eight on the play. That'll make it third and one. They'll spread the field with five wide. 
First down grab. And he's tackled in the open field. Minnesota has a three-point lead. it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And the safety with the interception. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From their own 24-yard line, first down. Fights forward to about the 26. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. From their own 26-yard line. Third down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Fires out to his wideout. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. They come out on an empty backfield. Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. Number 13, the intended receiver on the play. From their own 43-yard line. Second down. And he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. Gain of nine yards. You can't block me. You can't block me. Back 55. Back 55. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. Game of 12 on the play. In your face. First down. Hey, check right, check right. Five. 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 Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. This is the ninth play of this drive. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 35. That'll make it 39. Strike to the receiver. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24-yard line. And for Morgan, it's been one of those days he'd like to forget. Well, it's been amazing to watch this defense because they've done such a great job of applying pressure on the quarterback that they're definitely getting these turnovers. But it all starts with the pressure that they've been able to create consistently on this quarterback. 
Still a lot of time to make amends. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Draw play. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it third and seven. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And he's hit before it could go anywhere. Crawford to punt. Steps out of bounds around the 26-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Fires it out. He's pushed out of bounds at the 32-yard line. And that's the end of the third quarter. And we'll head into the final quarter of play with a score all knotted up. Welcome back to the action, fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Looks middle, got his back. And down he goes at the 40. and he's hit immediately in the backfield. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 30. That is a loss of four yards on the play. Fourth down. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Douglas is back awaiting the punt. Oh, excellent punt. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 32. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on their own 30. Aaron and out long. And it's caught. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. Complete one of his receiver. Just flung it out there, and it was short. Uh, he got a little bit lazy here. There's no question. He should be able to make that throw nine out of ten times. That was the one time he missed it. From the 30-yard line, second down. 
steps out at the 26. And a quick throw. And they push him out around the 23-yard line. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Kicks away. And he nails the long field goal. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. He's tackled at the 29. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He's to the 40. Brought down around the 46-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Zips it to the back. And he's level at the 48-yard line. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Number 25 was the intended receiver on the play. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Five wide. Here comes the pressure. He's hit and taken down. Oliver makes the tackle at the 30-yard line. Mike 55, Mike 55. That brings up second and eight. Eight, 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 eight. There, there, there. Fires across the middle. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. Oliver with the tackle at the 27-yard line. Screen, that makes it first they come out in a five-wide set. Throwing on the run, and he pulls it in. Tackle made right around the 12-yard line. Oliver on the tackle at the 12-yard line. Mark 55, Mark 55! Looks to him again, complete, and he's taken down around the 2-yard line. Number 55 brings him down at the 2-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. He's in! Touchdown! And they take the lead. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he tacks on the extra point. An 11 play, 71 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. But well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game.
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number seven, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it 37. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Tackled for a loss. Crawford awaits the snap. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reach. Touchdown, Irish! Wow, he looked like a running back out there. And that's just what you want when you're calling the option. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. He fights forward to about the 29. Incomplete. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Gets to about the 44 yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Tackle around the 40-yard line. Loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 40-yard line. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That's a game of one in the play. That'll make it third and 13. Just under three to go in regulation. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Douglas is back deep to return. Booming kick. 
This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. We're about set to start things up again. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop around the 27-yard line. the catch and has a first down. That's a great tackle at the 36. He guns it to the right. Almost picked off. From their own 36-yard line. It's second down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's tackled around the 42 yard line. 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Open receiver, no good. Number 42 was the intended receiver on the play. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Just over a minute left. Quick pass. He's at the 20, and he is drilled at the 18-yard line. They went back to the same play that time. Yeah, you're right. Same play as the one before, and they got a good completion and a nice game. Defense would like to come up with another big play like they did in the last trip for this offense in the red zone with the intercept. Caught end zone for the touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter now, and with that score, this game's a one-possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. So the offense is going to go for two. They got it. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Notre Dame 44, Minnesota 41. got drilled. I think the question right now is who's going to step up defensively? It's just been so much offense here in this final stand. I just want to see somebody step up and be a leader to try to be able to secure a victory. Late in the fourth quarter in a one possession game and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Minnesota will take their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He gets to about the 27-yard line. Minnesota is going to have to use their second time out of the half. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Golden Gophers, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. From the 24-yard line, second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. 55. Notre Dame holds a field goal lead. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score. Notre Dame, 44. Minnesota, 41. That brings this broadcast to a close.
For EA Sports and Kirk Curve Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.